Hey, welcome back. God damn it! What, 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 what? I'm trying to not start my parts with "Hey, welcome back." Okay, was that what the do 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 buffer was for? <laughs> I was trying to come up with something else. It didn't work. Apparently not. <laughs> uh, at any rate, we're in Agrabah. I'm not sure what I was doing walking in circles there. Um, I think I was trying to figure out which way I'm supposed to be going because this part of the game likes to block the path that you, like, at different points. So, if you see this path, ah, scissors, fuck. Um, my, my room is a crafting war zone for, for the, for the re record, for all the viewers out there. I got a sewing machine on the ground. I got a wig I'm styling over there. I've got a bunch of questionable electronics on my bed. <laughs> no, and the no, switches are too small! <laughs> my office looks like a bomb exploded and then built some circuits and then exploded again. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, so take out the circuits and that's what you got here. I've got a skirt that's mostly done but I need to add some more stitches. I've got a hat that's done and I don't have a place to put it. A vest that's done, I don't have a place to put it. The cosplay on my mannequin with a uh, wig head duct taped to the top of it so I can style my wig. It's an abomination. It's actually kind of amazing. <laughs> <laughs> is that the is that the wig, wig you're going to wear at um, the CodCon thing? <laughs> no, I'm redoing my Beatrix wig. Um, because I rushed through it the first time, and it's all jacked up, but it's- I've hated it for years, but I actually ended up in a Final Fantasy IX group, so I couldn't just retire it. <laughs> mm, right. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, you know what, I'm going to actually remake this shit, because it pisses me off so much, and now I actually wear it. <laughs> I mean, okay. If, it, if, it, if, it, if it's going to be in the state where it no longer pisses you off- Wait a minute, that's not- that's not entertaining, though. That's not entertaining. Ariel, you have to stop fixing it. <laughs> no! I'm already almost done with the first curl! Do it and for it's the already view. going better! Do it for the one view, Ariel! <laughs> I already freaked out in the first 30 seconds. <laughs> but, okay, in addition to that, I have an empty bottle that I'm planning to do something with, but I don't know what because my life is a mess. Uh, my hand sewing kit over here thread kind of scattered indiscriminately, a cross stitch that's half done, uh, pieces cut out to fill a plushie, a bag of stuffing that is perpetually in my way, <laughs> no matter where I put it, uh, what is that, oh, my ink nibs, I have a drawing that's sitting in my printer because I scanned it and I haven't moved to the next step yet, paint brushes, paint, fucking watercolors, a, a wooden dowel rod that I still haven't done anything with because it warps and I've been trying to unwarp it by putting it in the same situation but forcing it to go the other way and it's not working. This has been an auditory tour of <laughs> Ariel's room. <laughs> Crafting war zone. I feel the need to re-emphasize that. Right. <laughs> your sights a little high. Oh boy, it's Janeer! <laughs> I thought you were gonna say, oh boy, it's Janine! <laughs> Hello, Janine! I mean, continuing the tradition of misunderstanding each other when Austin is not here, rest his soul. <laughs> oh god, now he's Jafar! I don't know, couldn't she just have run past him? It doesn't look like he could go very fast in that uh, cloak. I mean. Sora, I'm Sora. I mean, Sora is an idiot. Aladdin is apparently <laughs> so stupid that he didn't notice himself getting pickpocketed by a parrot. <laughs> yeah, that's that's pretty. Like I don't, I don't imagine he would be very. And subtle. you know, Jafar could just fucking fade away. Okay. Yo, how? Wait, aren't you supposed to be saving um, uh, the the? Um, uh... You can't. Tell me what to do. The pot centipede can wait. Uh, okay. All right. I'm too Whatever busy killing say. pot spiders. 
You're, you're the Keyblade Master, except not. I'm the Kingdom Key Master. Done. <laughs> Wait, isn't Sora still not a Keyblade Master? <laughs> I mean, sort of. He's really bad at waking, okay? Okay. <laughs> okay, wait. I have a question. <laughs> if it has to do with anything after the Pirates of the Caribbean world, I still can't answer it. Okay, well, it doesn't. Okay. Uh, I think. So, uh, Dream Drop Triple D. Yeah. That is that the first time Sora went out looking for the power of waking? Well, that's when they found out he doesn't really have the power of waking because he's really, really bad at it. So yes. Okay. All right. Um, but that, Riku. That's where it became a thing. <laughs> but Riku also doesn't have the power of waking. No, he has it. Wait, he does? He fucking woke up. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. Wait, I'm I'm confused again. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he had to go back in to save Sora's ass. So he does have the power of waking. Riku does, yes. Is that... Does everybody who's a Keyblade Master have the power of waking? Debatable. Deba debatable. Is debatable? It <laughs> only because it never showed up before Dream Drop Distance. Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay, was it... A, like, a qualification? Like <laughs> I mean, that was their mark of mastery exam. But, uh, Terra Aqua and Ventus had a... Well, actually, I don't think Ventus did his Mark of Mastery exam, but Terra and Aqua had a different Mark of Mastery exam. So... Uh, so, it doesn't matter. It's at the Keyblade uh, Master person's discretion. It's at their... whoever was training them, yes. Basically. Right. <laughs> Okay, but Yen Sid is all like, you gotta find the power of waking, and then you're a Keyblade Master. Yes! Even though that has nothing to do with wielding a Keyblade. It kind of does, because Sora was, again, really, really bad at it, and almost lost himself to Xehanort. But, is it because he couldn't do the power of waking that he lost himself I to Xehanort? I mean, that's or? what Yen Sid seems to think. <laughs> but, but wait! <laughs> Is that fair? <laughs> I mean, he doesn't think so at the end of the game. But then, you know, Lee, Axel Lee, whatever, comes in and it's just like, shit, fucking stupid that he's got a keyblade. So, you know, it was a little distracting. <laughs> <laughs> and then he's like, holy shit, what? <laughs> right. Okay, uh... Uh, uh, does, uh, do we know if anyone besides Sora slash Riku has the power, if they have the power of waking? Well, let's see what the wiki says. <laughs> power of waking. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> um, I'm trying to jump to the top of the tiger instead of fighting all the heartless, because you have to beat the tiger ultimately. So I'm like, fuck you, I'm not gonna fight all these stupid heartless. I gotta, I gotta get the tiger. <laughs> oh, I see. I understand now. The power of waking, no, Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> Not the power of waking up early. Alright. <laughs> I wish I had that. <laughs> it was not... Okay, so that was spoilers right away, but that's fine. Um... Sora... But loses it. Okay. So, Sora did have the power of waking, but because he's really bad at it, um, he almost lost himself to Xehanort. So, as far as we know, um, um, it seems like it's just them. Okay, just them. Yes. <laughs> that we uh. know of. <laughs> okay, um... Can you use the power of waking infinitely? <laughs> uh, based on the little blurb that was totally a spoiler that I glanced over, um, there is a price to using the, pri the power of waking too much or improperly. Okay, alright. <laughs> uh, 
See, I asked that question because I knew the answer already, but I didn't know you knew the answer, and I didn't want to fuck it up for you, but you know already, so we could just I know, it. because I just Googled who else has the power of waking, and the second paragraph was all spoiled. Right, but that was not my fault. <laughs> I would disagree, but it's also not a huge spoiler. Xehanort spits all kinds of shit, although I don't know which Xehanort said it, so I still have to figure out if it's young Xehanort. Master Xehanort, or Ansem Xehanort? <laughs> or is it Ansem Xehanort just Ansem? You know what? I, I don't even know, man. One of them says it. Probably Wait. Master Xehanort, since he's the one who's a dick. I mean, they're Wait. all dicks, but... Are we calling Ansem Xehanort... Are we, are we calling Ansem Ansem Xehanort, or are we calling, um, a Xemnas Ansem Xehanort? <laughs> no, Xemnas is Xemnas. Ansem is Xehanort Ansem, because he was Xehanort, and then he took Ansem's name, and then became Ansem. <laughs> but Ansem, heartless Ansem, not Ansem the Wise, was Terra Xehanort. <laughs> yes! <laughs> but they didn't but say not... Terranort, they said Xehanort. <laughs> but Terranort and Xehanort are two different things. <laughs> yes and no. Because what do you mean Terranort no? becomes Xehanort. Who becomes Ansem, who becomes Ansem and Xemnas. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> who, who started out as Master Xehanort, <laughs> who started out as Young Xehanort. Something happens to Terranort in terms of his identity between when he becomes Terranort and between when he becomes Ansem, not Ansem the Wise, and Xemnas. I mean, I believe he is the thing with Aqua that he doesn't have all of his memories. I don't fully remember. Oh my god. cry. Okay. I also word it that way because in Kingdom Hearts 2, he was not Terranort when he was in that form. He was Xehanort. Because as Ansem the Wise's apprentice, he was Xehanort, while technically in the form of Terranort. But he was Terranort. He so. was Terranort, but he is not called that in canon. Ever. <laughs> but he still was. <laughs> yes, but his name is Xehanort. <laughs> but. <laughs> He's in Terra's body with silver hair, yes. But it's still Wait. Xehanort. Wait, has Terranort ever, ever been used in canon, that name? No, I'm pretty sure that's a fan in name. Oh, okay. Alright, that changes every, everything. That changes yep. everything. <laughs> that's just what we call when Terra Ter lost himself to Xehanort's. And then, right. you know, he's like, I need a younger body! <laughs> Something like that. Except in Spock's voice. Right. Oh, let her be away. <laughs> I know, I'm gonna be sad when I get to master Xehanort. I know to the viewers it's going to seem like it's taking me forever to play Kingdom Hearts 3, and you know what, you're right, because I've got 400 million things in this crafting war zone that is my life. Because um, I was like, wait a second, I'm supposed to be in the Keyblade Graveyard. Let me try and get to the end of the game so I can go through every single fucking Keyblade and try and find me. Except when I Google it, nobody else seems to think anything about that, so now I'm wondering if, like, Kingdom Hearts Union Cross just, like didn't fucking do it. What the fuck am I? I don't know. <laughs> Keyblade Graveyard. No. I, don't, I don't want spoilers. I just want to know if thing... I don't want unverse. I just want to know I just want to fucking list Heat. No, fucking. Give me. No, I want. What, what do you want, Ariel? <laughs> I want to know. Yeah, spoilers. Yeah, spoilers. Come on. What the fuck? What? <laughs> God damn, I just spoiled that shit! What'd you just spoil? Fucking Ephemer shows up! Who? Fucking Ephemer. Ephemer? He's, he's in Union Cross. 
Oh, is he the white haired guy? Yes. Oh, uh, yeah, he totally shows up. With the scarf. <laughs> That's actually a really good moment in the game. You you you, you shouldn't read on. It. It's it's pretty. I didn't read it. I was trying to see just fucking. I I just want to know if they actually did the thing. I'm I I was promised to be in the Keyblade graveyard. Okay. You were you were promised. Yes, I had to fill out a form. And I had to put my name, and they were like, okay, you won't be notified, but, um, yeah, totally, you're good. Uh, okay, well, um, I'm, be excited for I'm that, upset. then. <laughs> I am upset, because no one tell me. No one will tell me. I just... I fucking... Fucking... God damn it! <laughs> Ariel is not in a good mood. I am angry! <laughs> she is angry! <laughs> I am much upset. <laughs> I thought... I was pretty sure... That we were gonna be in the Keyblade graveyard. Wait, but you're not? I don't know. Everything I Google about it um, doesn't fucking have anything. I mean, you could you could play the game <laughs> and you could see if you're in the game. <laughs> Yeah, but like, you'd think that if they did do that, that people would be like, oh my god, there I am! I mean, who's to Here. say that they're not? Here it is! Make your mark in Kingdom Hearts 3. Event period. In addition, they have their chance for their name to be included in Kingdom Hearts 3. The higher your rank, the better your chances are, blah blah blah. Do do do. Fix event scores. Okay, hang on. Three hundred players will be chosen to have their player name including Kingdom Hearts three. Maybe it's not in the Keyblade graveyard, and I just did that because I thought that would be cool. I don't know, you just gotta keep playing! <laughs> I know some, something cool is gonna happen, and I know what it is, and I wanna tell you, but... I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish, but I had to find crabs, okay? I couldn't beat fucking Davy Jones without more crabs! I mean, there's no way around that. I, I, I completely <laughs> understand. <laughs> he was kicking my ass, Brian! <laughs> Wait, do cr more crabs make you stronger? <laughs> well, you see, they decided to go with On Stranger Tides. No, At World's End. No. Yes. No. At World's End. Um, yeah. for the Pirates of the Caribbean world, which is, in my opinion, one of the worst. Because no, everyone is. hates each other. No, but it is. I, I hate that movie. I don't know why Sarah thinks it's the best one in the trilogy. No, my favorite was the second. <laughs> Mine too! You know, it was kind of the beginning of the end, but I liked it a lot. <laughs> yeah. So, um... Anyway... You you know how they had the crabs in the, the fucking end of the world hell purgatory place? Crabs? Yeah. Well, you, you have a crab jack. Because, you know, these crabs are actually the goddess of the sea. Right. Uh... And, um, they like you. And they want to help you. So, oh, you gotta collect crabs to make yourself strong, to make your <laughs> ship stronger. Wait, wait, you... Basically, this entire world is a mix between Assassin's Creed Black Flag and uh, Zelda Wind Waker. <laughs> I, that's that's a combination. That's it. Did, oh my goodness, is it? Have you played Black Flag? 
<laughs> no, but I've seen my stepbrother play it extensively. Okay, I have played it, so I would be interested to see how the um, combat stacks up. Well, I just... <clears throat> It reminds me of Wind Waker and the fact that you have to actually sail to every island on your map before you can do anything. And that's Wait, where how... all them crabs are! How big is the ocean? Yeah, is I mean, it like it's wind? not really that big. Fire. But, you know... It, do it doesn't take, like, three years to get from one side to the other, let's say that. Okay. <laughs> uh, can't Sora fly? <laughs> okay! <laughs> now you just set me off, because the first fucking battle in there, he, they're attacked by this flying heartless, and they're like, Oh no, if only we can fly! And I'm like, sorry, you basically can fucking fly. <laughs> you can just fucking do your stupid shot lock, lock on hardcore parkour, and you're in the fucking air. You can defy gravity, why is this an issue? And he's like, okay, we don't have to fly! I've got idea! And he fucking slides on the smoke that a heartless is spinning out of its ass. And I'm like, Sora, you can just fucking jump. Gravity means nothing to you. <laughs> and to prove that with my brother in the room, I jumped off of the heartless, flying heartless I was riding and just kept hitting the attack button while I just never fell. <laughs> this was an issue. Why? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Uh, well, you know, Sora is not the, exactly the sharpest tool. No! Here. Sora has <laughs> always been an idiot. Which. Pe okay, peep. I had multiple people send me zero punctuations video. Um, I was hesitant to watch it because he's usually a dick. Mm -hmm. But one of his things was great. But in the comments, people were like, I hated that they made Sora stupid. Like, yeah, he was always naive, but now he was just, like, really fucking dumb. And I'm like, guys. He was always a complete fucking idiot. <laughs> you were just too stupid to notice. As a kid, I hated him because he was stupid. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yo, yo, have you, have you, have you played the Big Hero 6 world yet? No, I did Pirates of the Caribbean first. Wait, you get to choose the order? You always get to choose between two. Oh, I, I did not know that. Okay, when you do, when you do do, um, Big Hero 6... Let me know, because I have a fucking question. <laughs> Alright, I will let you know. I'm hesitant, though, because so far, the worlds for movies I haven't seen have been terrible. And I haven't uh, seen Big Hero 6. <laughs> well, uh, I don't know about that, but there was just a plot point. Because right, I watched, what, like... What I, I have read, at least is that other people agree with me that the Frozen and Tangled worlds are the absolute worst. Well, yeah, because they just shoehorn Sora in. Like, I've seen a lot of people notice that, note that. Yeah, which... what? It wasn't so bad in the Tangled world. It was awkward, but Marluxia made it okay. Like, because he just made some fucking comment about how Sora's really bad at waking up. And I'm like, yeah, you know what? He did sleep for, like, an entire year. Um... <laughs> But, the fucking Frozen World. One, they did the entirety of Let It Go. Yeah, the I The entire know, I... number. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that, and I'm like, oh my god, that must be so painful for everybody who's playing it. <laughs> yeah. And then they started to do the entire number of Do You Want to Do a Snowman? And thank god they fucking stopped. <laughs> but what's worse is, um, there's a scene where you have to find Olaf. By which I mean parts of Olaf, because he fell apart. And people who played the game will know what I'm talking about, because apparently this is, like, universally hated. Except yeah. by people who really like Frozen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so no, Donald and Goofy will not shut the fuck up during that scene. But they only have three lines of dialogue. Oh no! Total. <laughs> so they just keep repeating. Everything over. looks like Olaf. <laughs> yeah. Maybe we should go ask Olaf where he thinks he was. Oh man, everything looks like Olaf. <laughs> right, maybe we should go back and ask Olaf where he is. Everything looks like Olaf. Oh, you know what? I think I. I don't know if it was for this game or another one, but. 
Oh no, it was for Sonic Heroes, never mind. Because, <laughs> like, in one of the games where your your companions just won't shut up, the developers actually put in a line of code to make them stop talking. <laughs> like, there was literally... They kept telling me to talk to Olaf, and I'm like, I already fucking did. He said he's over here. And it's like, maybe we should ask Olaf where he is. I just fucking did, Goofy. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> ah, everything looks like Olaf. Oh my <laughs> god, for the fucking kill me. It's actually my personal hell now. <laughs> well, can't you throw Goofy off a cliff? No. I actually had to mute the TV for a while. Oh my, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> because I couldn't find the right middle part for him, even though he told me where it was, like, I could not find it. Mm. And they were driving me nuts. It was literally one second pause between each of them talking. Like, like, sometimes I think, you know, if I had a PS4 or an Xbox One, would I get Kingdom Hearts 3? And I'm like, oh, yeah, okay, okay this, is, this is fine. And I get to the Frozen world, and I'm like, nope, wouldn't be able to finish. Honestly, I would take fucking Finny Fun over the Finding Olaf section. <laughs> oh but God. as as one final side note, in King in uh Final Fantasy fifteen, I really liked that like Prompto Ignis and Gladiolus and Noctis were always having some banter among each other. It made it more believable. It was, it was really enjoyable and great. I absolutely hate that God, Sora, Donald, and Goofy are having constant banter with each other. <laughs> Probably because it's the same five things. <laughs> yeah, that's not banter. This looks like a good spot to find some ingredients! <laughs> <laughs>